Hey hey, midweek check-in from Ledger Life and today is an especially good one. We have just been ranked in the top 10 of a brand new AI crypto leaderboard built by Cookie.Fun. That's right, Ledger Life sits at number 9 alongside some of the most consistent and creative names in ICP. This little milestone thanks to you, our growing crew of viewers, developers, ICP holders, and crypto curious minds who come back every day for updates, explainers, and ecosystem stories. So thank you. If you would like to help us keep this going, we have popped our wallet details in the description. No pressure, but every bit helps us stay independent and own chain. Now let's unpack this cookie.fun board followed by the latest on ICP Ninja, our new blockchain memory game, and a quick look at the surging supply of CKBTC. Now, let's get into it. A new platform called Cookie.Fun has gone live and its goal is to track the real movers in AI-related crypto spaces from protocols to people. And to start off, it's launched what it calls the Mindshare Board, showcasing the top 25 voices and projects shaping the AI plus Web3 overlap. It's early days, the site is still marked version 1.0 and clearly labeled alpha, but already it's stirring conversation. Cookie.fun positions itself as a data-first tracker, blending blockchain activity with social engagement to spotlight who is actually pushing things forward. There is a dynamic tile-based leaderboard that refreshes in real time based on shifting influence, responsiveness, and presence across both chain and internet. And yes, Ledger Life is currently ranked 9th. That puts us in the same neighborhood as names like Vincent, ICP Insider, Cloud Foundation, Ampspeed, Digitalscape, Diode, ICP Hub Korea, and Benny, all of whom are publishing, building, or shaping discussions in the AI on-chain world. The site also features live data on internet computer. As of the leaderboard update, ICP's market cap sits at $2.69 billion and community sentiment is sitting at 71.2% positive. It even notes the all-time high for ICP that is $461.65 way back in May 2021. There is no detailed breakdown of how the rankings are scored, but it's clearly tied to measurable actions and engagement, not just follower counts or one-off hype. If cookie.fun gains traction, it could become a way to see who is building influence without having to rely on gut feel. And for a project like Ledger Life, which covers one ecosystem consistently, it's encouraging to see that focused work still cuts through. Let's move to something that's really got the developer crowd talking this week. Dominic Williams is back in the spotlight and not just because he's talking about web 4 again. He mentioned about ICP Ninja. It is an online IDE that lets developers instantly clone fully on-chain web apps. It comes with multi-chain support and no installation required. Just open the browser and start building. That phrase alone, Web4, triggered a ton of questions. One user, Aaron Sanchez, asked if Ninja apps could integrate with Kefi, the other definitely linked project that's become known for its wide coding approach. William said not yet, but teased that Kefin will eventually support hooks for direct compatibility. As for Kefin itself, access is still restricted. Long-time ICP community members like Block Query and Bampino expressed frustration over the slow invite process. Williams said they are moving fast behind the scenes, but that there is no token-based bait. This is about infrastructure, not airdrops. Things got more detailed when the topic of app royalties came up. Williams explained that cloning apps is free in draft mode, but publishing a final version may trigger a payment or royalty share depending on how the original creator set it up. If you modify and republish someone else's app, the platform ensures the original author gets their share automatically. The term Web4 raised a few eyebrows and some sarcasm. One user asked what Web4 even means. Williams answer, a self-writing internet where anyone can build on-chain apps through interaction, not just raw code. It's about simplicity, permanence, and ownership. 
Then came a sharper critique from Soul 6 AM, who asked what ICP offers that can't be done on AWS or with Ethereum or Solana. Williams fired back, saying most blockchain apps are actually hosted on Web2, with chains only handling tokens or snippets of smart contracts. He claimed ICP is different. The only chain that actually hosts entire apps on chain, frontend and backend. Whether you agree or not, the conversation highlights a deeper point. This is about building native internet apps, not just launching coins. And as ICP Ninja evolves, it may just become a proving ground for whether that idea holds. Meanwhile, someone is already putting those on-chain tools to work. A new memory game called Memory Flash Draft V2 is now live on the internet computer mainnet, created by Justin Jack Bear using the Caffeine toolset. And it's fun. At its core, it's a simple card matching game. Flip emoji cards, match pairs, move on. But here is the kicker. Every action is fully on chain. The front end and back end both live on the blockchain. Each card flip burns a few compute cycles. There is an animated confetti, sound effects, and colorful feedback. Our leaderboard is on the way, and the game already supports unlimited levels. It's built for mobile with a smooth, bright interface that stays playful while making it clear you are interacting directly with the protocol. The more you play, the more cycles you burn, making it a subtle but clever demonstration of real-time blockchain usage. There is no token reward or speculative gimmick, just interaction, utility, and fun. You can try the game at the link in the description. And based on early responses, it's picking up traction among both casual players and Definity ecosystem supporters. It's a small idea executed well, and sometimes that's what helps explain big concepts best. And finally, CKBTC supply on ICP has just had a major injection. Today alone, nearly $1 million worth of CKBTC was added, pushing total supply to around 446.7 Bitcoin, which is about $50.66 million at current prices. Even more interesting is the daily volume, 52.8 Bitcoin or $5.98 million in transactions, spread over 5.7K transactions in a single day. This isn't just volume for volume's sake. It's a clear indicator that ICP is actually being used as a compute layer for Bitcoin. The CKBTC model brings Bitcoin's liquidity onto a fully programmable, fast, and cheap network, something the original chain can't do on its own. If you're building apps that need Bitcoin logic without Bitcoin lag, CKBTC on ICP is becoming the obvious option. And with this kind of activity, the momentum looks real. That's your Ledger Life midweek update. Thanks for spending time with us. All the project links, game access, and data tools mentioned are down in the description. If you would like to support us, the donation wallet is there too. Catch you next time.